Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some ARK Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, guys, we are back on the solo game. For the first time in a while, um, I'm still kind of waiting for, uh, hopefully, the Ascendant Creature Unlock feature to get a turn off option, because currently uh, my creatures are gaining experience whenever I'm on here, and I don't have a way to stop that if they go beyond what is uh, the normal limit. And I don't super want that, plus I want to be able to die creatures with potent dust. So. Um, yeah, still waiting for that. Hopefully that will be a thing that is coming. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to do some minor videos on this series. And one of them is, because we have this Araneo here, this little spider friend, um, I heard a rumor the other day that they have an ability very similar to the Arthropleura, where they can go into caves and not draw aggro. So we're heading into the central cave here. Um, and for those of you who don't know, that's kind of in this central portion of the map. And I do apologize for my map data being all weird because I've been switching single player games a little bit lately. All right, so we're heading in here. Um, I just want to test out and see if we pick up any aggro from creatures when we head into the cave. And if we don't, we might even go and do the ice cave. Now, unfortunately, this Araneo is like not the highest level. Um, we did tame it for Halloween last year, so um, I've had it for quite a while. I never did get rid of it. Its name is Webster, and I thought it would be interesting to test this out and see if we actually would pick up any aggro from the creatures in the solo game. Um, yee. No? I'm gonna touch you. No. Maybe the bats? No. Oh, wait! Is that a... That's a Megalosaurus. Okay. Um, that's really cool. It's level 25. I kind of want to tame that. It's in a really weird spot. I'm not sure I'll be able to tame that um, and get away safely. So I'm kind of just going to keep exploring a little bit. Um, yeah, that's super cool. We might tame a Megalosaurus while we're in here as well, guys. That might be a thing. But it does look like... Yeah, we are not picking up any aggro from any of these creatures, which is kind of amazing. Um, I really wasn't expecting that. It must be a bug with taming uh, cave creatures that you can ride, because the Arthropleura currently, as hopefully everyone knows, does not pick up aggro from any creatures um, in a cave. And so that's really, really strange. It's definitely not an intended feature. I do think it's a bug. Um, so I don't want to use this method too, too much in my own games. Um, I have used the Arthropleura before because they've kind of somewhat allowed it. Like, the, the War Drum team has not said too much about it. Why are there so many Megalosaurus? There are three in this cave right now. That's insane. Um, cool. Well... I, I kind of want to tame one, but if they're going to be uh, spawning in like that, um, I'm definitely not even going to worry about it because there's so many. I think that might just be a plant over there. We might be okay there. Yeah, so obviously once you get down towards the artifact, um, hopping off everything in this area will aggro on me. So I'm going to stay on the spider and not worry about getting this particular artifact. Um, this is kind of just a proof of concept, and I figured this would be an easy cave to get out of if, in fact, we were going to pick up any aggro. But yeah, look at that. That's just crazy. Not a single... <laughs> not a single um, creature is gaining any sort of aggro on us. Uh, what is cool is I can pull out weapons on the back of this. So I could definitely tame at least one of these Megalosaurus here. Um, I only have one prime meat, though, and no soothing bombs on me. So we'll probably come back for that at some point. I do definitely want to test this out in the ice cave and just slide past all the yetis if that's possible. So, yeah, I think we'll do that. Um, we'll run the ice cave real quick and see what we can get. And then after that, depending... Man, we have no stam. Um, after that, we may come back and tame a Megalosaurus. I may come back with some meat and, uh, yeah, tame one of these guys up because it's super rare super rare to get one of those and I'm shocked that there are that many in this cave at this time 
it's a little hard to climb around some of these creatures. That would be the downside. I'm actually going to try to bite one of them and see if I can pick up aggro as I'm leaving the cave. But I want to get close to the exit before I do that, just in case. Because this is not a very good Araneo. It has, like, pretty much no health. Um, and so it's pretty squishy. Alright, let's uh, wait and see if we get any stamina back. And I think there were spiders up here. I'll just double check real quick. No. No, there was nothing up this way. Okay, so I'm going to try to hit that um, snake. And if it doesn't aggro on us, that's amazing. And if it does, um, yeah, interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, let's see. Are you going to get mad? Well, he moved. But is he going to attack us? No, no, we are completely invincible. That is crazy. Um, oh, there we go. Ugh. The, uh, the Onyx definitely do aggro, but the snake didn't. So that is an interesting thing to know. Don't attack the Onyx, but uh, you definitely can attack ground creatures and not draw aggro, which is <laughs> certainly an interesting thing. Um, all right, I may actually just pull out my pike here. What's really cool is that you can kind of do this. Uh, you can pull out weapons on the back of an Araneo, so it's not too hard to come in here and uh, kill anything that's coming at you with a pike without losing, um, without gaining aggro from any other creatures in the area, which is kind of neat. All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick cut here, guys, and I will bring you guys back when we get to the ice cave. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and... We'll go ahead and run through that, hopefully get the artifact, and then maybe we'll come back here and tame some Megalosaurus, kind of depending on how much time that takes. So I will see you guys in just a few minutes. Okay guys, so we are back. Um, we are at the ice cave, and yep, we're just going to head straight on in because I'm super curious about this. And unfortunately, we don't have a ton of stamina, so I'm a little bit worried about how well will actually be able to get through this cave um, just in terms of getting through here quickly. I'm not too worried about getting through here um, losing a lot of stuff. If we're not picking up aggro from the other cave creatures, I'm not too worried about that in here. Now, I have done this cave on a bear on this series before, and that was super awesome, but you really only get one shot when you go through here with a bear uh, because the creatures that you have do teleport out. Oh. Hi. Yep. Yep. Total, total indifference. I love that. It's terrifying. Um, it's very, very cool, but it is also super nerve wracking. So that is definitely something to be aware of. Uh, unfortunately, my spider is kind of hungry, so we'll probably have to kill something as well as we're going through here. Um, and I will have to be careful about... I will have to be really careful about um, going through some of those water spots, but here's a wolf. No, we're totally fine. Okay, cool. Well, um, looks like we're going to be A-OK -okay as long as we don't hit anything, um, which is OK by me. I could probably kill some of these Onic with a pike, um, which I might have to do for food because my poor Araneo is quite hungry, so I actually might kill this guy. Hopefully this is not the end of us here. Um. Alright, so all we're attracting are Onik when we do that, which is not so bad. Um, the Onik are pretty easy to, to kill, so I am okay with that. There we go. We fed the spider. Um, I'm now sitting sideways on the spider, which is particularly interesting. I like that very much, okay. <laughs> and we'll just head on here. Um, yeah, cause I kinda wanna actually get the artifact from this if we can. Uh, as long as we don't get off of the spider, we should be fine, which is uh, definitely interesting. Yeah, nothing is aggroing on us. Nothing at all. <laughs> oh man, 
Um, yeah, definitely a huge bug. Similar to the Arthropleura, it's super creepy. Um, and obviously there are issues with making sure you can get in and around certain creatures. So you want to be super careful when you're going through tight spots. Um, trying not to hit things just in case they will aggro on you, because the Onic obviously do. Um, I don't know if the Yetis do. We might try to hit one of those guys on the way out. We'll see how that goes. I'm a little bit nervous about trying to hit the actual uh, Yetis, because that can be... That could be bad. Like, one hit and this poor Araneo would be dead because it's only, like, level 90 or something. 98 now. Um, yeah, super low level. All right. Compared to the creatures in this cave, anyway. Ugh, the stamina is the worst. All right. We're going to regen some stam. Very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. And then we'll head on. Okay. There's a saber tooth salmon over there. I think we're okay on that score. I'm a little bit worried about these ice flows um, and getting up quickly because you do take damage when you're in the water and I just don't want to get stuck underwater. Although it looks like we're not having too much trouble with that since these guys actually have a pretty big um, base walking area that they have. All right. Man, the stamina is the worst. If you are going to do this, I highly recommend just... Just increasing stamina so that you're not quite, um, not quite as slow as I am going to be getting through this cave. But I already had this Araneo. I didn't want to tame another one, so here we are. Just us and Webster cruising along right past all the bad things. This is crazy. It must be a, just a bug with cave, uh, cave tames in general, because if Arthropleura do this and Araneo do this, and... Everyone was using Arthropleura. I don't think too many people had been using Araneo because not many people tame the Araneo for any reason other than for fun. So, yeah, I'm guessing just a lot of people just didn't know about that you could use the Araneo rather than the Arthropleura and still get through the caves just fine. Oh my gosh, this is just... It's crazy to not be afraid of the things in this cave when you've got something like this. Araneos for the win, man. I've always really liked the spiders. I think they're kind of a cool creature. Um, I do wish that they had better stats in general and could be a little bit more useful. Like, their web attack is great, but other than that, there's not much reason to have them. Um, and the web attack is really only useful in very specific PvP situations, so they're really not even useful um, that much in that arena. So... All right, I'm going to go ahead and smash this so we can get through. Perfect. All right, and now I'm going to drop those because we have zero weight on this guy as well. And it looks like I'm going to have to kill another Onyx, so I'll be on the lookout for one of those uh, real quick here because we do need to feed the spider. Uh, this is not the area to try it. All right, we're gonna very slowly slip through here. Just very carefully. Um, right around this wolf if we can, yep. It's actually much easier um, coming through here on the spider than it is coming through here on the Arthropleura. That's what I'm noticing. I'm having a lot less trouble. Um, I'm not getting stuck as much for sure, so if you are going to do this, like, I actually kind of recommend this particular uh, creature. And that always drives me crazy that the creatures disappear as soon as you get here. Um, I actually recommend the, the Araneo over the Arthropleura for this kind of thing. Because it's a little bit quicker. Um, it's definitely easier to maneuver. And I actually think they're super cute. So might as well, might as well use a spider instead of the actual Arthropleura for this. All right, this is such a long run through this cave compared to what I'm used to. Uh, definitely need an Onik. It's just the waiting for the Stam. Like, if I didn't have to worry about the Stam, um, this would not be an issue at all. Oh my gosh, why are you so slow? Eh. And I have the auto run on, so I have to, like, lift up my finger every once in a while to keep it from going too fast. Get the stamina back. Almost. Okay, there we go. Now we can go a little quicker. At least for a few seconds. 
Man, I do love the way that this cave looks, honestly. It's nice. When you're walking through it kind of slow, you get to actually admire the way that the map is built. Um, and I do, I do love the ice cave. It is a very beautiful thing. And it's actually one of the easier caves to navigate through in some ways. Um, once you're, once you're kind of used to knowing where things are, uh, it's definitely not the hardest cave to get through. It's just kind of long compared to the other caves. All right, stamina, stamina, always with the stamina. Okay, eventually we'll get through here. <laughs> I do apologize, guys. I do want to make it all the way to the end here before I, uh, before I actually cut to us leaving the cave, just because I really wanted to prove that it was possible to do this um, and give everybody an alternative to using the Arthropleura. Like, I know people love the Arthropleura, but let's try using something else once in a while, uh, just for some variety, and yeah, as long as they are working the same way, we might as well be using um, both of them in stages. And I actually, I do love it. This guy is super maneuverable around all the creatures, which makes it really easy to get by all those tricky spots where it's not usually so easy to navigate. Um with the Arthropleura just because they're so long and they do get stuck on stuff pretty easily. Stamina. Kind of. Alright, we have some wolves. I don't super want to mess with those at the moment. Um, I'm a little bit worried. Actually, there's really nothing else in the area and I do need to feed, um, feed my Araneo. So what I'm going to do is try to bite these guys. Nothing. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill a wolf for some food. Like, they move a little bit, but they definitely don't attack back. The Onik do, um, the wolves do not, which means the yetis probably don't either. Alright, that's gonna take too long. <laughs> I'll just, uh, I'll just use a pike. And now they're aggroed on me, so that's fine. All right, and I'll get this one. There we go. And we're a little hurt, but not too bad. Perfect. There we go. It's not the most food in the world, but it should keep him going for a little bit. Um, yeah, but as long as I was using him, it looks like we would not have had any issues uh, just beating those wolves up right up until they were done. So definitely... Definitely an interesting creature, um, yeah, and I'm super happy that I have it, and now I'm really happy because I don't uh, need to tame any Arthropleras to do this cave a bunch of times. I can just level up stamina and movement speed on this guy, and I will be all set for the foreseeable future. We are almost at the artifact here. Super excited. I'm actually going to kill this Onik as well. Yep, I see the artifact. That is perfect. Come here. Perfect. They give a little bit more meat than the wolves do. And I also don't need pelt or hide because it is um, kind of heavy for this little guy. There we go. Give him his food. Yeah, make sure you have some raw meat on you because they do lose food pretty quickly. So uh, that's definitely good that I can keep him fed by killing some Onik and wolves throughout the cave. And it looks like there's nothing else bad here, so I'm going to crawl all the way up here very slowly without stamina. All right, nice lighting glitch there. <laughs> and we're going to take that artifact. Very cool. Okay, that's it. Um, we did it. I think we'll have pretty much no trouble getting back out of this cave, so I'm going to go ahead and take a cutscene, and I will bring you guys back um, once we're out, because, yeah, the spider obviously is great for getting through this cave. Didn't have any issues at all, and I'm probably going to continue using this guy in the future, at least until they fix the bug for both the Araneo and the Arthropleura, not gaining any aggro once they've been tamed. So. Uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in a few minutes here. Okay, guys, so we are back. Um, we've made it out of the cave just fine. 
And yeah, I think that I'm actually going to go ahead and end the episode off there. Um, I did go ahead and tribute the artifact, so we do have this Apprentice Compound Bow, which is not that great, and an Ascendant Scuba Mask, also not that useful. Um, but we did get a blueprint for a Mastercraft Rex Saddle, an Ascendant Assault Rifle, and an Ascendant Pump Action Shotgun. So those are all pretty good, um, and I'm pretty happy with those particular rewards from the tribute. But uh, definitely could have been better. I would have loved to see an Ascendant Compound Bow. That would have been super useful, but um, I think it's going to be all right. So... Uh, yeah guys, I do think I'll go ahead and end the whole video off there. Now, one quick announcement before I do is that I do now have an Instagram account, uh, that is linked in the video description below if you guys want to follow me there. It'll mostly be pictures of my dogs and pictures of in-game stuff, so if you're curious about that, you can go ahead and check that out. Otherwise guys, I do think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna tame that Megalosaurus in the next episode. Um, rather than trying to squeeze it into this one. So, if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will get you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.